John Whitish with Cub Crafters. Building an airplane can be a little bit of an intimidating experience. Somebody might think, do I really want to fly something that I built? But Cub Crafters has come up with a way to help people get some experience in that arena and maybe push them on down the road towards building a full airplane. Tell us a little bit about your new program. That's right, Tom. Um, the Carbon Cub EX2 Discovery Kit uh, is exactly what you described. It's an easy way to enter kit building and become immersed in the process and grow comfortable with the process so that you know what you're in for when you begin taking on the rest of the airplane. Our kit program has grown quite a bit in the last couple of years. We introduced our new ailerons and flaps last year. The airplane flies even better than it did before. Now, this year, we want more and more people to be able to enjoy those capabilities. So we've introduced the EX2 Discovery Kit. The kit includes a rudder. It includes a polyfiber envelope that covers the rudder and all of the polyfiber materials and chemicals that it takes to finish the rudder. Everything that you need except for paint. Once the builder is done with the uh, Discovery Kit, then they've got a finished rudder, which is a running start on their finished Carbon Cub EX2. Have you tested this with some potential builders, with some folks who have never built an airplane before? Oh yeah, we have luckily have a group of ambassadors and proponents who work with us, people who have built many of our kits and helped us to decide exactly what to offer first time builders, if you will, the opportunity to discover what building a carbon cup is all about. What are you finding from those testers that they're experiencing as they go to build their first piece of an airplane? Well, that the covering is not all that intimidating. It's a little bit of a steep learning curve right on the first day. However, you get past the learning curve very quickly and everything moves along very, very expediently thereafter. Although for some people covering is the part that they kind of cringe at, as it turns out, it's not that difficult. And this is the perfect way to find that out. I found from my one experience doing a fabric airplane, which was a Mooney Mite many, many years ago, that it was a process of measuring, cutting the fabric, gluing the fabric to the parts, then it's heat shrinking and, and seconite. Has that process and fundamentally changed? Maybe even some stitching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's changed a lot. Specifically in the case of our rudder assembly, and this applies to the rest of the airplane, you get envelopes. They're already cut to size. They're already sewn. All you have to do is slip the envelope over and rivet the envelope, not sew it, and shrink it, and then use the chemicals to seal it. So it's actually a much, much more simple process. It's not just more simple, it's much more durable than the older systems used to be. How much? The Discovery Kit uh, sells for $9.95, so it's an inexpensive entry into kit building. Aero TV is brought to you by since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.